name is Lenny and I will introduce our Turbio One watch and will show you some little nice features. Come over and see it a little bit closer. So what you see here is my prototype watch. So that explains the little scratches. What you can see is um, the watch is not running at now because the barrel is had no power as you can see here from the main spring. When the spring is on the outside uh, of the barrel then the watch is empty and because of that it's not running. When the watch will arrive at your place it can be that it looks like that because there is no power. The first thing you need to do is to wind up the watch. So what you can see right now is that I gonna compress the mainspring. So I load the watch after a few turns you can see it starts and it needs about 35 turns until it's full so now we fully winded the watch and you can see that the mainspring will skip little gaps in the barrel so this prevent a breaking a breaking spring so which is quite unusual for hand winding systems only for automatic systems but we did that because of that danger of breaking the mainspring and you can hear it actually but it's not very noisy and you can feel it on the crown when that happens you know the watch is fully winded so what we have here is one hour hand a minute hand and a second indicator and the second indicator is right on the turbio cage so now I'm going to show you how to set the watch. Pull out the crown and then for example here in Beal we have 10 of 10. So I go a little bit forward and then counterclockwise to 10 10. Let the crown go and just put it in. So we are going to show you the extra feature we have with the second stop. When you set the time counterclockwise you will recognize that the cage stops like on my watch and when you synchronize with the atomic watch you can set your watch very accurate so now you can see the balance wheel stops and then when you have on your computer or your smartphone the right time you just push the crown back and then it starts moving so guys I show you how you can set the time very accurate for your watch with an extra app I'm using watch check which I really like so you can add uh, your watch here you can type in the model so in my case it's a, a T T044 and you can save it very easy so as you can see now we have half past four to show you how to set the time accurate we click here on the plus and you will here uh, have an NTP time and a GPS time. We have no GPS time because I restarted the app before and we only have the NTP time which is accurate enough. As you can see, um, the Turbio now is minus, minus 25 seconds and here we have minus 27 seconds and the application is asking me uh, at which time I want to set the, the watch. I can have a look here 60 29 and as you can see here the white triangle is on the top and now I can push and then I see okay my watch is minus 49 seconds behind the NTP time for that I can set the watch like I want or as I showed you before I pull the crown so that the uh, minute hands moves counterclockwise and my turbio cage will stop and now i can go on the plus again and i watch an ndp time okay it's 60 30 i go a little bit far forward and then go back to stop the cage again and then we have here 20 seconds after and when we here have 20 seconds after, I'm gonna push in the crown. So now we can wait. As you can see, the balance wheel stops. And I go to 16.31 because that is the time I wanna set. 
and now you can also see the GPS time which is synchron with the NTP time and now 20 seconds after I'm gonna push in the crown to start my turbine and now you can set the time accurate to 31 push the crown in and now you have the exact time and to record your watch and the accuracy of your watch you go up until the, the little white triangle goes into the middle and then we push on the green button here which measures the time for us and we do that in three two one now and then I can see okay minus 2.5 seconds which is quite accurate and then you can do it that every day or every week or after three days it doesn't matter the app will for you check how many seconds it's it's away from the real time so I'm gonna show you a database of another watch which we brought to GOSK the T043 which is the case number of this watch as you can see I have done every day a new measurement and here you can see I started with 2.9 second plus to the atomic time and after one day I have plus 0.3 seconds a day and then minus 0.7 seconds a day which is different because of my behavior every day so sometimes a little bit lazy and do nothing and then I'm very sportive so that's why it's always a different number each day and if you see at the end here in the orange orange part here you have an average of plus 1.1 seconds a day which is very accurate for a mechanical watch 